Hello YouTube, this is uh, Coding for Noobs, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple game. In a second, I'm just trying to plug in the charger to my laptop. There we go. Uh, that's what I said. Uh, okay, sorry. Anyways, so uh, when we're making a game, uh, first thing we need are some characters that we're going to be using in the game. Now, I'm not teaching you how to make a game in XNA or uh, DirectX or anything. I'm just going to teach you how to make it with the Windows components. So, all we're going to need to do is uh, make some pictures. So, uh, go ahead and open up uh, Paint if you're running Windows and uh, make something a reasonable size so you can edit it a little bit. And, uh, I'm going to be making a stick figure. Except uh, I want one of them to be blue. 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 Fine. One of them to be purple. And then I'm going to make the other one red. So we have a good guy and a bad guy. My good guy is going to be blue and my bad guy is going to be red. So, uh, go ahead, add some legs to them. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a first little rough copy of your first little game that you could be making. Alright, there. Now I got one guy, so he's good, so let's save as good guy. I'm saving him to my desktop. Now, uh, select and uh, make him red. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, I'll just go over what I already did then, I guess. I'll make them red. Uh, I guess that doesn't work. Uh, I'll just do new. Why not? Don't save. Don't change the size of your canvas. Otherwise, you'll mess up the whole game. And it'll be weird. Um, you're going to want to draw some legs. Another body. Some arms. There. And save as bad guy. Now we got two initial sprites, we'll call them. Only because when you're developing a game in XNA or in any other kind of game engine, a character. A player character and NPC with the uh, R or sprites. So go ahead and open up your Microsoft Visual Basic 2000 and whatever. I'm using 2010, you guys can use 2008, it doesn't matter. Uh, think for a new project, Windows Form application. Doesn't matter what you name it, I'm just going to leave mine as the default name for now. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and change the title to our first game. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and maximize the size of this form. There we go. Uh, next, since we made pictures for our sprites, we'll be making uh, picture boxes. We'll need two. We'll have one in one corner and one in the other. So let's go find a picture box in the toolbar. There we go. Picture box one and picture box two. Uh, don't worry about the size yet. Uh, auto stretch image. Um, import. Sorry, that's from the last game that I was making. Um, go to wherever you saved it. And uh, go to um, good guy for your first image box, or picture box. And uh, it should stretch to fit them in there. Now, uh, I'm going to go rename my picture box one to 
good guy. Oh, sorry, he can't have spaces. Good guy or player. I'll name him player because he will be controlling the good guy. Or in my mind, you will. You can change this up. You can make a yeah, so you control the bad guy, but you'll have to change the code right now since you have control the good guy. Uh, then you import the bad guy and go OK, and then you go to size mode and stretch image. OK. There we go. Now we want to make them the same size, so I just drag them over top of each other and do that. Uh, next, you want to drag the bad guy down to the bottom of the screen, to the other corner. And that's the spot form. Gives the player a missable head start. You'll need it. Uh, the last thing we're going to need is a, a, a timer. Uh, that'll be controlling our uh, bad guy. Anyway, so let's double click on form 1 first. And uh, go to the event by clicking up top here. Um, where is it? Uh, button or keyboard? Key press down. A key down. And then we need uh, we need to monitor um, if e dot key data equals keys dot right. Then we want to move our picture box. Or not our picture box, but our player dot left plus equals three. So that means uh when we hit the right button, this picture box is gonna move over three spaces on the form. But it's not gonna update the form, so we have to call another built-in sub, another subroutine that's built into Visual Basic, and that's called refresh. So, if we go ahead and run the game now, every time we hit the over key, it should move our character one over, or it's two over. See? You can change that, but if it starts to look a little laggy, if you go too high or if you go too low, it'll look very slow, it'll be very boring. I think 3 is a nice uh, value, because since we're not actually doing any uh, animations or anything, it looks like you're going one steady pace. Um, Anyways, guys, this uh, video is going a little long, I think, so I'm going to stop the video here and uh, look for part two.